Minecraft. A game about- Alright, let's cut this melodramatic intro out of the video. It's at this point idiotic to even introduce Minecraft in a video. You all know about its simplistic nature and gameplay. Being one of the most successful and highest selling video games in history, you also might know the fairly outspoken and opinionated creator of the game that resulted in its name and history being completely washed off from Minecraft's image. At least he has some money. The point is that Minecraft is a recognizable, beloved, famous game with an active fan base and a global presence that is perfect for a blockbuster hit. Wait a minute. You see, I wasn't the first one or only one to think of this idea of commercializing Minecraft into a billion dollar box office hit. Back in 2012, Hollywood producers were conceptualizing with Mojang, the developers of the game, for a potential movie. After the news of the idea of Minecraft the movie potentially being a real thing, many a community were pretty hyped about this and it'll be a great thing for the franchise. 12 years later and the movie hasn't seen the light of day. Why? Because it was going through production hell. The movie was confirmed to be produced back in 2014 but after countless of producers and directors pulled out and multiple rewrites of the script and the crown 19 happened, the movie was delayed and delayed all over again until finally having a release date of April 4, 2025, 13 years after the supposed power position to make the movie. Which is literally the amount of years that Minecraft has been existing since beta release. And all throughout those 13 years, that wasn't the only Minecraft related work that was a bit underwhelming. And that's the most interesting part. Minecraft itself has one of the most popular media presences in the world, and yet everything around it seems to fail and never live up to match the popularity of Minecraft, nevertheless even setting an active fanbase revolving around it. In this video, I'll try to answer the question. Minecraft is still succeeding as a game, but why is the Minecraft franchise failing? After two years of development in 2011, Minecraft Beta 1.0 was officially released to the public. The game quickly created a large following around the world, with recognition from awards and especially in the internet, growing the game's popularity and media presence. So to increase the reach onto different audiences and players, the era of Minecraft expansionism began, starting off quite modestly. In the beginning, the development team focused more on serving Minecraft in many other plates as the game was only available on PC to Java Edition. So in 2011, Minecraft Pocket Edition, now known as Bedrock Edition, was released for mobile compatibility. While Pocket Mode at this time was just a watered down version of the main game, it was still a viable introduction for many players into the game, including mine. Next year, they started venturing onto consoles, such as the Xbox and PlayStation consoles but also expanding further into the Wii U, Nintendo 3DS, and eventually the Nintendo Switch. Aside from device compatibility, Minecraft also has some other weirder editions. Minecraft Education was a version of the game made for educational institutions and classrooms. Imagine learning the periodic table in Minecraft to blocks. The Minecraft Chinese edition was also released at the same time for the country of China because they have fairly strict video game laws over there that if the main game was even released there, it'll be immediately banned. But probably the weirdest versions of the game is the Minecraft Pi edition for the Raspberry Pi and Minecraft 4K, which isn't 4K meaning 4K high resolution, 4 kilobytes. Yes, a version of the game equivalent of 4 kilobytes. I mean dude, a google document file is much bigger than this game. There was supposed to be a Minecraft VR for the Oculus Rift but after Facebook acquired the Oculus company, Notch scrapped this idea of the Minecraft Oculus edition because Facebook creeps him out. And then Microsoft said screw him and added Minecraft into the Oculus, as well as the PlayStation VR later on. But hold on, why did I say Microsoft? Well, back in 2014, Microsoft bought Mojang alongside the Minecraft franchise worth $2.5 billion. So with one of the richest companies in the world giving them financial support, in the era of Minecraft expansionism, the sky's the limit. Literally. Actually, the idea of Minecraft Story Mode was thought of way before the Microsoft acquisition, so Microsoft isn't really involved in this game. In 2013, Mojang and another video game company named Telltale started developing a story-based video game of Minecraft. Many of the Telltale staff actually loved Minecraft, even having a private Minecraft server, the Telltale SMP. But one of the driving factors for the development of the game was that it was somewhat like a blank canvas, giving the team more reasons to make the game as they can create an entirely new story. And in 2015, Minecraft Story Mode was released. 
And while the game was very unorthodoxically different from the main game, it was received pretty well from the community for its unique flair while still keeping faithful to the main game. I mean, this was one of the first ever content related to Minecraft that was actually delivered, somewhat close to a movie or a television series. Minecraft Story Mode felt like a breath of fresh air. In 2017, a season 2 of the game was released adding more stories in the game. However, the game's success didn't really last long. A year later, Telltale the company faced financial issues and was preparing for closer, causing them to forego the Minecraft licensing right as it has expired, causing Minecraft Story Mode to be delisted off of stores, with the chance of people that already purchased the game to download the entire game in a limited time. On behalf of the publisher, Season 1 and 2 will no longer be supported on June 25th, 2019. If you have purchased the seasons, please download all remaining episodes prior to the service being discontinued in June. Nowadays, the only way to even watch any content of the game is through existing footage of the game. Or if you really want to play the game, through piracy and downloading the game to a third-party client. I wouldn't say that Minecraft Story Mode was a game-changing thing, but it was for once a win for the community in terms of anything Minecraft-related outside of the main game. While it isn't the last game to be made in the Minecraft franchise, it'll most likely be one of the last cherished video games in the franchise. Minecraft Earth was a mobile game similar to Pokemon Go. Using your camera to interact with the game, released in 2019, the game already caught interest from the community, especially from including more features that aren't in the main game. We gave you the first ever look at Minecraft Earth in action, this brand new mobile game bringing the world of Minecraft into our own universe through the almost magic of augmented reality. However, the game was released months before the Crown 19 pandemic. The game relies heavily on the user going outside their house and interacting with the game to geolocations, but you can't really do that when there's an ongoing lockdown. Minecraft Earth was designed around free movement and collaborative play, two things that have become near impossible in the current global situation. As a result, we have made the difficult decision to end support for Minecraft Earth in June 2021. I'm just now realizing that June is a very bad month for the Minecraft franchise. The game's popularity declined until in 2021 when the game was shut down because of the pandemic, but it was most likely because the game wasn't profitable to even continue running the game. But at the first place, it was already seen as a lost cause, citing that the game was just fucking bad. And this won't be the last time that Mojang created an entirely new video game just for the community to just forget about it. Minecraft Dungeons was released in 2020. Heavily inspired by other dungeon crawl games such as Diablo, which was actually a driving force behind the game's criticisms, calling it a boring version of Diablo. But for what it's worth at the beginning and throughout its release to this very day, the game is seen as a fairly enjoyable game that has a sizable community and was seen as a successful game by most in the community. However, Mojang decided to pull the plug on the game and stop giving the game any sort of updates with the last update back in 2022. However, every journey has an end. As 1.17 was Minecraft Dungeons' last update, our team has now moved on to new projects that continue to explore experiences in the Minecraft universe. This means that there are no new features or content updates planned for the game. While the story of Dungeons might have reached its conclusion, our community continues to build their own stories. And with the current daily players in Steam being below even obscure Minecraft servers, Minecraft Dungeons is rumored to be having a sequel game in the future. So why did Minecraft Dungeons fail when there was so much to offer in the beginning? I mean, while the game was fairly watered down and player friendly in comparison with other dungeon games, the game offered many features and items, but even with this many updates and content being added to the game, why did nobody care to play? In 2023, Mojang released another spin-off of Minecraft, Minecraft Legends. It is an action strategy based game similar to similar to um, uh, kind of kind of like you know like that one game um that, uh, I'm not really familiar with this genre so I can't really give an example. However, this game wouldn't survive long as only months later the game was practically dead with Mojang no longer providing any more updates to the game simply because nobody cared and that it cost too much to maintain and just wasn't profitable. Even with the plethora of microtransactions the game offered, nobody just wanted to buy them because almost nobody wanted to play it, criticized for its repetitive nature and dull gameplay. Nowadays, only around 20 to 5 players play the game on Steam, which is just honestly disappointing. But why is the game even still up? I have, I have no idea, just a practical guess 
but the game seemed like it was made with a lot of care and dedication. You know, it was just too valuable to just let go. I have already mentioned the Minecraft movie earlier back in 2012. Mojang received offers from Hollywood producers to make a movie about Minecraft. Two years later, the movie was greenlit and production began. Describing it as a large budget and the rights were given to Warner Bros where they hired Sean Levy to direct the film. But then he dropped off the film alongside writers the Molnori brothers. A year later, Rob McHenry was announced to direct the film with a $150 million budget, expecting the film to be released in 2019. But due to scheduling conflicts, McMally also left the film in 2018 and they had to rewrite the script again. In the supposed 2019 release, Peter Solet was announced to direct the film, completely creating the story vastly different from the previous production. But then the pandemic happened so the movie was delayed once again. And then in 2022, Peter Solet was replaced with another director named Jared Hayes, confirmed it to be a live action film, filming the movie in New Zealand. But production once again was delayed due to SAG after strikes. In early 2024, filming finally began. A whole decade after the movie was being produced, four different directors were announced and multiple rewriting attempts at the script. Now the movie will be officially released on April 4, 2025, hoping that there won't be any other delays. And then in 2024, it was announced that an animated series of the game would be made and released on Netflix at an unknown date. No information regarding the production, no names being dropped, nada. So it's pretty fair to say that the Minecraft franchise right now is looking quite bleak to say the least. I'm not really saying that the Minecraft franchise is a failed concept. Trust me, it's probably one of the most profitable games to have ever existed. Toys, books, even events, although I'd say that it can fit into that definition of it failing right now. But in terms of expanding and reaching the Minecraft name onto new audiences, that part has much to be desired. I guess it did garner the attention of those genres, but never really established themselves as a prominent figure in those genres. You don't play Minecraft Dungeons because you like playing dungeon games. You probably play it because you like Minecraft, and that's the issue. The main audience of the Minecraft fans are Minecraft players, users who have played the main game and have invested much of their time playing the game and interacting with the community. And that's one of the main reasons why the Minecraft franchise is currently failing. The video games they release aren't meant for the general Minecraft player. Modding has been always trying to expand their games that are vastly different from Minecraft going more on a three-dimensional third-person wider view and focusing more on quests and having a forward movement. But in Minecraft, it's never like that. I mean, there is somewhat a goal in the game, but you can't establish yourself to that goal in many directions. Build a house first or maybe have a mining session. Minecraft doesn't have any sort of display of objectives. It is always about what the player wants to do. And with that definition, the game grew, being split up onto various sub-genres of gameplay and objectives. The Minecraft community is just too broad to try and sell something to them. They have different preferences and ideas. Some prefer a combo environment, some prefer a more adrenaline-filled environment. What I'm trying to say is that Modeng failed to even accommodate their community. Well, yeah, the games are connected to Minecraft in some way or another through shared aesthetics or universe, but it's not really something they wanted. Heck, they never really asked for more games that they have to buy. The community wants more content in Minecraft, not more of Minecraft. It's like Rockstar selling you Red Dead Redemption, but they named it Grand Theft Auto Wild West and instead of being third person, it's first person perspective battle royale format. You get the issue? Mojang is selling to the wrong audience. Instead of creating new games to new ideas and characters, they decided to take the easy route and place the most iconic game's name onto any new product that is entirely different from the main game. Minecraft the game has a different feel, vibe, and environment in comparison with its spin-off games. A small bar of cigarette smoker is willing to purchase a Zin or a vape because it has the same feel or effect as a cigarette, but not a small bar of chocolate bar. Only people interested in chocolate bars would purchase a small bar of chocolate bar. In terms of land expansionism, it's like a tropical country expanding their control onto snow lands. Most of the laws and regulations created by the country was only made for the tropical side of the country, which is vastly incompatible with the colder side of the land, which leads to my second reason. Hypothetically, some of the people in the tropical side would move to the colder side of the country. They're willing to accommodate with the harsher environment. Oh, you were thinking that the cold land would look something like a soft, floppy, snowy tundra? No, it's like, an, it's like Antarctica. Rocky, no trees, no life. Just city land. Ever consider that Mojang spin-off games are just not good? 
Even maintaining games, they're not really good at. Their two only games outside of Minecraft are Scrolls or Colors Bane, which hasn't received an update since 2019, and then Crown and Council, which looks like a 2003 pixel RPG game. Minecraft Earth, sure, it was included in the Time Magazine's Top 100 Best Inventions of 2019, but let's be honest, it was just meh. It could have never been released in a worse year than 2019. Considering the fact that you can't play a huge chunk of the game or your government would literally arrest you, it felt more like a novelty game than an actual serious attempt at making a proper mobile game. And then there was Minecraft Dungeon, which weren't inherently bad or awful, it just wasn't for the Minecraft community. And even for those who have played the game or are into the genre, it just wasn't the best game for them and felt more like a game for the family to play. Which I guess is a success, but turning over to Minecraft Legends, it was as a bad fucking game. And since these games were more tedious to maintain and develop than it is profitable, it just didn't make sense to further update these games. And of course, Mojang certainly hasn't learned their lesson. Rumors of making a sequel for Minecraft Dungeons just make a good fucking original game. Another reason why the Minecraft franchise is failing is that the franchise was destined for blockbuster success. A $150 million budget and the hype of everyone in the internet eagerly waiting to watch the movie. It was a clear sign that the movie could have succeeded, ultimately boosting the franchise. But that hasn't happened yet. Now with the movie supposedly being released for 2025 and it being a live action, I'm not fairly confident about the success of this film. I mean sure, there was the Mario and Sonic films, but you just never know how it'll pan out. The vision and idea of the movie might not match with the perception of the viewer they have of Minecraft. Everyone has their own idea of what Minecraft is. Yeah, um, editing, editing makes this timing in for a bit. This script was basically made before all of the trailer stuff and sneak peeks of the Minecraft movie. And I'm not gonna try to like grow my ego or something, but I couldn't be more right. Everyone in the community was just like, what the fuck is this? And like, they were like comparing it to like knockoff pictures and like just that's what I'm basically saying, like the idea of the Minecraft movie could have been like different to the perception of the Minecraft game compared to its viewers. And yeah, that's basically what happened. Many people have mixed opinions about the movie and even like among like the scenes where it's like, yeah, it's live action a bit like a bit more like Minecraft. It just like, it kind of like rubs you off the, the wrong feeling when you've actually played the game. It's just uncanny to look at. I mean, it, it will depend on if it will succeed, but I think the release of the film back in, the film back in 2019 will be way more quintessential in shaping the franchise. But if the film for 2025 would succeed, that would be a major win for the Minecraft franchise in a long time. In the current pace of the franchise, it hasn't really met much success, and I full heartedly consider the franchise to be failing at the moment. But with the upcoming movie, so and maybe even Minecraft Dungeons 2 actually being a really good game, the franchise does have a fair chance to succeed, but you never know. Maybe another delay to this work until being scrapped altogether is still a possibility, but I do hope that the franchise could at least deliver one good product in the future. Just one.